The first series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Lana Bosser. And it begins, Reach down from your heavens and rescue me from this hell, and deliver me from these dark powers. My God, I will sing you a brand new song when you give me the victory. The harp inside my heart will make music to you. I will sing of you, the one who gives victory to kings, the one who rescues David, your loving servant, from the fatal sword. Psalms 144, verse 7, 9, and 10, the Passion Translation. Deliver us, then, our homes will be happy. Our sons will grow up strong, sturdy men, and our daughters with graceful beauty, royally fashioned for a palace. Our barns will be filled to the brim, overflowing with the fruits of our harvest. Our fields will be full of sheep and cattle, too many to count, and our livestock will not miscarry their young. Our enemies will not invade our land, and there will be no breach in our walls. What bliss we experience when these blessings fall. The people who love and serve our God will be happy indeed. Psalms 144 verse 12 through 15, the Passion Translation. I have been hearing over and over in my spirit, Rise up and defend your walls again. As I roar deliverance over you, blessings upon blessing is going to fall. As I pondered these words with the Lord, I saw many hiding behind their walls. They had come to a place of no longer standing and guarding and defending their walls with prayer and declaration, but just trying to run and find cover. I saw debris flying everywhere from the walls that were being bombarded and broken by the enemy. Many had their hands covering their heads to shield themselves from the rocks that were flying everywhere and they were screaming, Jesus, deliver us. I then heard the Lord calling out to his people individually by name. He would call them by name and call them back to the wall. But in order to do that, they had to stand up in the midst of the onslaught to get back onto their walls. Such fear gripped them. If I stand and come out of hiding, I will be slaughtered. But the safest place for these ones was not hiding under their hands and in action running in the opposite direction from the enemy, but actually taking a stand, like David stood before Goliath. The safest place was standing where the Lord was calling them to stand. And even though it didn't make sense that the Lord was asking them to stand up when they had been so battered and the onslaught so hard, it was the place of deliverance. There was a great struggle happening in the hearts and souls of these ones as fear gripped. But those that chose to stand and trust in the Lord and his strategy experience a great deliverance of God. As they stood up while the breeze and huge rocks flew everywhere, such horrific onslaught, he roared. As he roared, I saw a huge glory bubble surround these ones. Rocks were coming at them in every direction and bouncing off. The bubble of his glory surrounded them. As he roared, I could hear in his roar, come forward and back on the wall. As they began to move towards the wall again, with each step they were strengthening and healed, restored and delivered. By the time they reached the walls, they were so strong in heart and soul again, such deep refreshment, they began to defend their walls with an awakening to their authority in Jesus they had not had before. As he roared, and they defended their walls again with the promises of scripture and prophetic words over their lives and, and prayer, it began to rain. It was raining blessings. There was such an abundance of blessings and increase into every area of their life. Promotion was being released in every area of their lives. Family, homes, finances, health, discernment. Nothing was left untouched by the blessing, resurrection life, and promotion of God. Where there had been such deep despair and mourning, the Lord was releasing bliss, joy, joy on the walls. No longer would they stand before their walls or in hiding, weeping at the plundering of the enemy of their walls, but they would laugh and rejoice at the blessing, restoration, increase, and promotion and securing of their walls. They all stood together and began to sing our enemies will not invade our land, and there will be no breach in our walls. Psalms 144 verse 14. The enemy began to flee in seven directions. He was retreating. The Lord will grant that the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. Flee before the seven ways be entirely routed and flee some one way and some another, even every way they could take to make their escape. The phrase is expressive of an entire victory and a complete rout and dispersion of an enemy. Gill's Exposition of the Entire Bible.
As he roared, I heard, no more, no more, no more. This onslaught has been stopped and the enemy defeated, and now you shall enjoy the overflowing fruits of harvest. Death, delay, and a miscarriage of the promises of God will no longer be in your land as you continue to rise up and defend your walls, standing with him as he roars uh, this deliverance over you. Where a spirit of death and foxes have continued to come in and destroy, your land shall now be filled with life and life more abundantly. John 10 verse 10. This is a crucial moment. No matter what you what your eyes see, continue to move forward in obedience to his voice and leading. The story of Elisha and his servants in the battle with the nation of Aram attacking Israel has been burning on my heart. A brief overview of this story. Israel was being attacked uh, being attacked time and time again by the nation of Aram. <clears throat> God would tell Elisha what the plans of attack were drafted by the king of Aram, and Israel would win time and time again. When the, when the king of Aram found out about this, he sent out to an army to go and capture him. So Elisha's servant wakes up in the morning and sees that they are completely surrounded by a huge army. So Elisha's servant goes to Elisha, freaking out about the army surrounding them, and what does Elisha tell him in 2 Kings 6 verse 16-17? Don't be afraid, Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elisha prayed, O Lord, open his eyes and let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes, and when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elisha was filled with horses and chariots of fire. As you continue to read on in the story in verse 18 onwards, Elisha prays that the Lord would make the enemy army blind, and the Lord struck them with blindness, and Elisha led them out of the city and led them to Samaria. Once they entered Samaria, Elisha prayed for the Lord to open their eyes, and he did, and they all discovered they were in Samaria. The king of Israel made a feast for them, fed them, and sent them home, and verse 23 says, After that, the army and raiders stayed away from the land of Israel. The Lord has been showing me the level of opposition coming against God's people lately. Many feel like they are completely surrounded and there have been relentless hits. And now the army of opposition around them feels bigger than ever and fear, discouragement, and despair has come in. Today, I heard the Lord say, My people ask me to open your eyes to see the angelic army on your side to assist you into victory. The enemy is telling many that they are alone and greater is his army against you than the army of heaven with you. As you ask him to open your eyes, you are going to see the magnitude of the invisible angelic army that has been assigned to you from the Lord to assist you into victory. You are going to see past the impossibility to the reality of what is happening in the spirit and over your life. It is victory. You have more angelic hosts for you and on your side than what is coming against you. The, the Lord spoke to me again, and he said that many of you have been in what feels like the battle of your life. And once you step into this victory, which is going to be soon, you will move into a level of insight and partnering with the Lord and divine strategy to see a continual momentum of victory and many of the armies of hell that have continually come against you to kill you. They are about to be sent away once and for all. As you walk in the divine war strategy of heaven, seeing the angelic armies that are for you and on your side, the victory that has been decreed in the spirit over your life and situation, a blindness and confusion will be sent upon the enemy as you implement the strategy of heaven. Where there are those around you who have cursed you, the Lord is going to give you the victory, and in the walking out of the victory, he is going to develop a greater heart in you to bless those who curse you and pray for those who persecute who mistreat you this is in luke 6 verse 28 remember ephesians 6 verse 12 for we are not fighting against flesh and blood um, enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against many mighty powers in the dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places what you are wrestling against are territorial spirits principalities the enemy and his army but god has already decreed your victory and he is about to open your eyes to see the army of angels with you for you on your side and assisting you into victory where there has been the greatest battle of your life you are now moving into the greatest victory of your life 
Not only will the victory flag of joy be lifted high, but your spiritual ins your spiritual sight is about to increase significantly. You are being trained in greater insight, sensitivity, and partnering with the Lord and His war strategies, and you will step into a momentum of victory. Recently, I heard the Lord say, you are about to move into a divine restart with a new heart. I saw the Lord hitting a restart button and it was like a computer and was rebooting everything where there has been incredible assaults against believers and the way forward has been hindered where hearts have really copped a beating from the onslaught. The Lord is about to do a sovereign reset. Not only is he about to bring about this restart with resurrection power, everything will flow in greater acceleration power increase and ease the viruses that have tried to kill you and kill what the lord is doing through you are being removed he is about to really fight for you and come through for you not only are you about to move into that divine restart that will see greater acceleration power increase and ease come into your life you are moving into with a new heart I saw the Lord looking at the heart of many believers that feel like they have lost or are losing their hope and trust. Their hearts are being filled with weariness, despair, and pain as they continue to see things in the natural get worse. And yet the Lord uh, keeps speaking, hold on. As he looked at the hearts of these believers, I saw him weeping with them as they wept. His comfort was strong. His love was healing. His eyes piercing with vision. I saw him looking at them and present with them and present with them in their pain, but his eyes piercing with the vision of what is ahead and what is about and what he is about to do. He sees beyond the pain and what is being set before them, the joy that is coming. The scars I am turning into jewels. As he embraced them, I saw him place his hand on their hearts. He was releasing resurrection life into hearts. And as the resurrection life flowed into their hearts, and not only did it heal such death and brokenness within, it was like there was a upgrade of heart to a completely new one. Once the resurrection life had infused into these hearts, the hearts looked completely new. Inside these hearts were such large jewels, and I asked the Lord what they were, and he said, these are the jewels that have been found and received in the battle and dark night. The scars I am turning into jewels. This newness of heart was seeing the scars turning into jewels. The revelation of the jewels of revelation found in the dark were becoming more and more the focus rather than the scars that were received in battle. These ones have been tested and tried in the battle. They have been purified in the fire and the onslaught. But rather than focus upon the scars received, the focus was shifting to the glorious jewels of revelation of Jesus and his word that were gleaned in a battle and darkness. Dear hearts, if you are one of these ones who have been in such an onslaught and battle, it feels like the battle of your life and at times you have felt like you won't make it through, like you're dying, like you have been like you have given up hope and you just cannot believe anymore. I want to encourage you. Just wait for him. You are about to receive a deep healing, a completely new heart, an upgrade of sensitivity to him, an increased passion, a heart that is new and full of life again. You are going to hunger for him like you have never have. Uh, you are going to encounter him like you never have. You are going to sense his leading like you never have. And you are going to dream again like you never have. The jewels of revelation will be released through you and many will be set free, healed and delivered. Recently, I had an encounter with the Lion of Judah. What an encounter. I saw him in his power and his authority and his strength and might. He was majestic and nothing could stand against him. I saw him standing on the roof of a house and he was poised and focused, looking out into the distance. The sense surrounded me that he was on guard. What struck me besides his power and authority was how big he was. He was the size of at least another house. If I was to climb up on his back, I would have been the size of an ant. Each one of his beautiful, soft, yet strong paws rested upon the four. The next thing I heard was the sound of the enemy and his army, and they were flying towards this house. They were cackling and snickering at their mischievousness. Uh, hidden plans and assault they were about to release upon the households of God's people. They flew with great speed towards God's people, and as the houses they were targeting were coming into sight, they put on the brakes. 
They look like cartoon characters who zooming at a thousand miles an hour and suddenly had to come to a stop. They were almost skidding through the air to be able to stop suddenly. Why? Because they saw him. He opened his mouth and let out the loudest and most powerful roar I have ever heard. As he roared, it was so clear that nothing could stand against him and nothing could stop him. The enemy and his army turned around and began to fly in the opposite direction. As they were fleeing, I noticed that they had their tail between their legs and they were yelping like dogs that had been hurt. He continued to roar and roar and he watched as they fled not taking his eyes off them. As his roar filled the atmosphere, I watched as light flooded out of his paws. As the light exploded out of his paws, I watched this incredible light begin to create bars all around his house. I watched as a cage of light was being formed around this house and it continued until the entire house was contained inside the most glorious cage of light. And the natural a cage would contain, but this cage was full of light, freedom, and peace. His light exploded through the front door and spread through the entire house, leaving no room or part of the house untouched. He was bringing a cleansing, healing, restoration, vindication, and peace. As I looked at this cage of light, I heard a booming voice that said, Zechariah, 12, Zechariah 9, verse 12, over and over. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. He is roaring over your home and over your family, and the enemy is fleeing with his tail between his legs. He is restoring hope to your home. He shall know, uh, you shall know hope in Jesus like you have never known before. In his cage of light, you shall know his safety and his provision and increase. Divine healing divine heavenly alignment and government is entering your home you shall know the miracles and recompense of god there is an army of angels standing guard around your home in the front of this cage of light and the lion of judah is on guard everything that the enemy has attempted to take from you or throw at you i declare to you today that he is restoring double to you the next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Ellen, titled Daily Prophetic Word, September 23rd through the 27th, and it begins, The Father says, If you want to go higher in me and reach unlimited heights, you will have to look at the kind of people you tend to keep around you. There are many well-meaning people out there, but they do not desire more in my kingdom. They are complacent and content with just being Sunday attenders and not much more. You will know who they truly are when you begin to share what I am doing in and through you. Ask yourself, do they encourage or discourage your decisions in me? Many will seem like they are ones to build up others, but out of their mouth you will hear put-downs and criticisms about everyone else walking out their higher calls. They have opinions about everything and no one will question their right to speak their mind. These types of people will slowly kill what I am growing on the inside of you. If you fall, trap to them. Shake off the dead weight and do not look back. You can't convince people to take a hold of all that I have to give freely to all. Be watchful of your own steps. You are a flower growing in my garden. I will water and feed you daily. You must be mindful of the weeds that desire to be planted next to you. Check what goes on in your daily affairs and how you will deal with each one. Your character and integrity matter greatly to your growth. You and I will work on your fleshy versus uh, spirit responses. To go higher, you must learn to master how you address even the simplest of matters. People will bait you to do works out of your flesh, both good and bad. I have a new level of revelation and wisdom for you to partake in. I will give you eyes to see the motives of others with a new clarity. There are those that claim to be mine who are not. There are others that do not claim to be mine but walk in my light nonetheless. Some believe they are worthy of my inheritance who surely will not receive. And the others do not feel worthy to wash my feet and surely they will receive all that my son has died to give them. I know the hearts of all mankind. Let me shine light on what you cannot see in the natural. The stepping stones that you travel on are making way for your new anointing, and you will outgrow places that once fed and clothed you. Be ready for the shift, for change is coming swiftly in this hour. Walking on water is not the miracle. The destination of where this will take you is the miracle. Don't look down, but look towards the horizon. What do you see? 
This is a, a, this is a surprise waiting for you. Your spiritual eyes will allow you to know that I am busy concerning all matters about you. Prayers are not pointless. Prayer is your strongest weapon, and prayer will weaken any force that comes against you. Prayer aligns your heart and motives to that of the kingdom. Many curse their own potential when they, when they own in their heart and mind the poison from the enemy. If I have not said it to you, why would you believe it? Are you so easily fooled into thinking that I lie when I say that I am for you and not against you? The world will turn a cruel side to you, but I will stay closer than a brother. Your actions will always demonstrate what you harbor in your heart. A double-minded person is one to avoid. I am calling out your purity and showing you a way to walk above those that even think they are truly holy and righteous. Fitting in to avoid sticking out will leave you chasing in circles. Those that boast are not grounded in truth and deceive themselves. Focus on your own walk and do not fall into the trap of comparing your life to others. New looking paint cannot hold together a house on a sinking foundation. Not everyone will be happy and encouraging even among your closest allies. Do not let this cause you to stumble. I am revealing the hearts of those around you, so that you will truly know who is for you as well. Many hang around to, to steal and destroy. Find that these people are suddenly walking away from you. Do not feel a need to reconcile, for this exiting is for your good. Find your old armor breaking off of you this day. Many have felt unprotected lately and have not known what to do about it. You are not defenseless but you have simply outgrown that level of protection. You can only wear what will fit you. My angels are fitting you with a new level of, of protection that will take you through the territories to come. Upgrade and stronger abilities will suddenly be in your arsenal. You will be underestimated as tasks will come easier and be finished quicker in the coming months. Those who walk in my spirit will, will come alongside to cheer you on, for my finger is upon you. Walk up and plan your day. Many walk through the day without a solid idea of what they desire or need to accomplish. One day, they choose to wonder why the years have passed them by. Without a vision, my people will perish. You have this life to live and it can control or you can take charge of it. It can't control you or you can't take charge of it. If your days are getting away from you, make a decision to change how you see the moments that you have. You may say, Lord, Lord, I would, I would like this for my life, but you have done nothing with what I have given you. I know your desires before you ask and have already placed the necessary steps before you. You can't get to the end destination if you have not walked the steps. What you do today will build upon what is needed for tomorrow. You are learning knowledge and gaining better skills. Think of all of the times you came across a challenge that you found easier because of a past experience already traveled. My goodness is before you. Choose to see all that comes as an opportunity for my glory to be seen and known. It is in the difficult times that I minister to you with intimacy that often gets overlooked when things are going well. The burdens that you choose to carry, I am trying to lift off of you. I cannot take what you will not give. I do not set your days out to be small or insignificant. Dream big and just look to see what I would do in and through you. Many have already decided that they are denied based on some preconceived formula. Understand that I place inside of you the, the desires of my heart. When you water what I have given you, you will see it manifest at the predetermined point in time. I cannot deny what I have already designed specifically for you. Cast down the lie that race or gender will inhibit uh, will inhibit you within my sovereign plan religion will tell you that these aspects matter but i do not partner with me and let's just see how far we will go together the world can say that you have no rights or voice but i am the one who will answer all that comes against you the day of vindication will be ruled in my courts just Keep walking and praising for in due season even your strongest enemy will be humbled. I settle all scores even from those that scream the loudest that their way is the right way. I will not burden you. Well, I will not abandon you. You will never find a moment that you have to fend for yourself.
You have the keys already. Time to find the doors that they open. There is a gold mine in your heart. Do you believe? Or has the negative words others labeled you as and claim you as is stuck in your mind? I have not asked anyone else their thoughts, opinions, or desires for your life. I make plans for you based solely on what I know is your potential and what I have created you to do and be. No one has more authority in your destiny than I do. Many abandon the mine in search of other treasures and aspirations. Many find that a thief has come in and taken what they turned away from. Hold fast to this hour. I am doing a new thing on the inside of you. The old is passing away. You are being transformed and brought into a place that is foreign, but one that you are made for. What you thought about your life, even yesterday, is being changed and shifted to expose what has been lying in wait all of this time. What you have struggled with to come out will now come out with ease. Do not underestimate small beginnings. There will, uh, there will always be areas on the inside of who you are that are at different levels of growth and maturity. When you fail to water those areas, you stay stuck. When you let the weeds come in to crowd out the light, you will stay stuck. Be diligent and on purpose in your daily affairs. Pay attention as you go about your day. Traps are set, but that does not mean you must fall into them. Do not go through life asleep. The effort you put forth will yield a plentiful harvest. Diamonds begin as something that would seem like garbage, but through the process, they become the most cherished of gemstones. Many give up in the process, but I say stay the course. When you view life as endless days of routines and troubles, you will banish all that is truly happening for my glory and honor. I will never leave you as I have found you. I have said that you will love how all of this turns out. Trust the process and let me have my way in your life. I will give I will give you meaning to what you travail through. Joy is the portion that is growing larger and larger, not sorrow. Are you feeling blown around in the wind that others create? Just because someone disagrees about something in your life does not mean they have the authority to speak into your life or that they are correct. Take some time to go off and talk to me about it. Do not let emotions fill you with opinions either. I will share my heart with you until all confusion and doubt is gone. People may or may not have good intentions regarding these matters, but I know the right steps beyond what others do or do not see. There are forces that desire to keep you rattled and off balance. See through the fog. You will have the upper hand and advantage point when you take your time before you respond. No matter what the news report reveals or what the weather report forecasts, none of that may find your doorstep. I am here with you and I will not leave you. When you wander off to solve your own dilemmas, just remember how you walked into this situation and how you desire to walk out of it. My ways are higher, but I will not force you out of what you have decided upon. I have given you many puzzle pieces to mysteries that I am unfolding. Many decide that the puzzle pieces is worthless and toss it. Others can't make the pieces fit, so they toss it. I say look again because right before your eyes, what was hidden is being revealed. Years of deep questions and frustrations are coming together in fullness. What made you bang your fists in anger will come forth in great joy. Do not look behind for, uh, for I am right here before you with the keys that you have sought and prayed for. What was is not coming back to you. Walk today in the glory of my presence for you have arrived to a point in time that you have once thought was a myth and fairy tale. I am indeed giving you life more meaning giving your life more meaning than you ever could have imagined. I am putting purpose to your suffering and giving you beauty for the ashes. I am healing your mind and your heart. Repayment and, recomp and recompensation is coming to you with increase. 
What seemed like a waste would be made over with great value. You are one step closer and moments away from all that I have been setting you up for. Hold out your hands. You are so loved and you are my beloved. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Kathy Moat, 23rd to the 27th of September, 2016. And it begins, In the depths of your despair and your darkest moments, you cried out for help. I heard you then and knew what you had need of. Step by step, I have been making you ready. Brick by brick, I am making you into a beautiful building. Though most days you did not understand, you chose to trust my gentle hands. Your understanding was withheld, and as, and as I did, in you great faith has been built. For what does it profit a man to believe what he sees and receive what he has? I have given you the greatest of gifts. It is a deep and trusting relationship. I have given you healing deep in a sacred place where your hurt was secret and hidden away. Not even you knew it was there, for you simply kept going, hurt after hurt, year after year. But I knew the freedom I have called you to and the difference between it and you. You do not realize how the hurts and disappointments crippled you, but today I have given wings to you. I have given you freedom deep in your, hurt, in your heart. It feels like a spring breeze in your emotions. It is for you a fresh new start. It is yours to keep and the hurts will never come back. Don't cling to old hurts from the past. Don't look for that same old path. I delight in seeing you receive this new freedom. It is my gift to you and I desire for you to have it. Your time is not over. It has just begun. Your life is not over. Your days are in my hands. And as you ponder the end of your days, my plan for you is just beginning. You see, my sweet, my plan for you is great. There are many things laid out before you, many paths you will take. Let go of the things you consider lost and don't lam it. Compared to my gifts for you, they are dry and pale. You have lost not one thing in following me. You have been called to me and now you will be sent. You know in your hearts you will come home to me, but what you don't know is that I now come to you. There are glorious moments ahead for you, moments you wouldn't have dreamed would come true. I have been generous with the blessings given to you. Your greatest years are now upon you. The time has come to lay all worry aside and not pick it up again. Let the rivers of cleansing wash it away and joy bubble up from within. Let the rivers of gladness now flow where waters were once bitter and stagnant. Let the joy of the Lord be heard in the praise on the lips of his children. Let the beloved sing of freedom now instead of despair and heartache. This is the dawning day of the Lord and he sings over you with gladness. This is the day of his strong arm and he comes to you with deliverance. You are the child that I take delight in. You don't know it yet because you have known only rejection. This is what I say to you. I have always taken delight in you. The enemy has been very jealous of you and that is why he has pummeled you. From this day forward, I promise you, I will make it up to you. There will no unclean thing come to you for my angels will take charge of you. There will be a deep well opened up for you and cool refreshing will be poured upon you. I will see to it that you understand that there be nothing left of the hurt you leave behind. You are the child I take delight in, for in all your pain you have been shaped by my own hand. Everything you do, you do for me. Everything you do is seen by me. Everything in your life should be between you and me. You are in deep and intimate relationship with me and everything you do is given to me. No matter the cost, it is for me. I will erase your pain and make it as if it had never been. I will relieve you of your burdens as if taking a package from your hands. Long have you carried this burden. Long have you wept before me in frustration. I am not blind to your suffering and I am not deaf to your prayers. I look forward to delivering you and your time of delivery is here. Never again will I hear your sweet voice cry out to me in despair. I am a good father. I will take your burden and replace it with joy and freedom. The weight of your feet is too great for your legs. I will make straight your way as if it were paved. I will lighten the weight you carry and give you strength. 
I will put back the bounce in your step. I am so pleased that you refuse to give up. I will now double your portion, for one who is faithful has double reward. Consider it done. Consider it finished. Consider it from me. And consider it a gift. There is no toil, no dusty road that you have to travel and walk alone. This is your inheritance, and it is already given. Consider it yours, for in me it is finished. There is something that taunts you and rebels against your faith. There has been a struggle, but there doesn't have to be. You have gained much ground, although you don't see it yet. But now is the time for your victory. Speak with authority and it will flee. Tell it to step down. Tell it to leave. Make a decree and shout it out. This is a simple matter of choice, so stand your ground. The, th the things that stand against you have no right. Make a joyful noise, for by my stripes you are healed and made right. The tests you have been through have been specific objectives. They have had specific objectives. They are training, and in wisdom you will receive them as my gift. They are for your growth and to facilitate your promotion. They are your road to come higher, learn the truth, and give you strength to learn my ways which are higher. You have learned to trust, to lay down your desires, to wait for my word, and prize my ways above yours. You said less of me, more of you, Lord. Because you did, your understanding would be unlimited and your vision uninhibited. The way to my heart is to lay down your pride, to set aside your life, to desire my desire. The deeper the bow, the higher you come. You have been generously promoted, and soon you will know it. You have within you rare beauty. It is my gift to you for the hardships you have endured. Your beauty is really for me to see. For the beauty I see in you is that you are yielded to me. I see none fairer than one so sweet, one who trusts and belongs to me. There is something that you ask of me, and now I ask you, will you believe and receive? The things of torment and worry have no place in the hearts and minds of my children. It has been taken away. It is your choice to leave this worry at my feet and turn away, receiving with joy your freedom. I invite you, say, say I am Lord and not these things. You have waited on me and in answer I have increased your faith. It is a powerful force that now rises within you. Agree and receive. To you who can hear me, get ready to soar. You hear me and obey me without hesitation. When I move, you move, and together we flow. I am taking you deeper, and together we will soar. There is nothing that will be withheld from you. As I speak, you will speak, and I will back you. There would be seamless flow through me to you. There would be one fluid current through me and you. I have already draped over you your new mantle. It is like a coat that slipped into you. You don't wear it, it's on the inside of you. This is something long promised to you. It has been my will all along to give this to you. Many months have I been teaching and training you. Many difficult lessons have you learned, and I am pleased with you. This is the life I have called you to, not the ruined mess the devil has forced upon you. As my children learn to flow in my leading, they will speak what I speak and agree with me. Through them I will flow and glide, and in them my power will, will abide. And as they learn to abide in me, faith will grow, relationship will deepen. As I move in their hearts, so they will accept what I say and agree with me. They will begin to flow through life, not just follow, but flow and glide. This is the day they will learn to fly, learn to flow, learn to glide. I move in mysterious ways, and they must abandon old and structured thinking. I will fill them full of life, and I will guide them. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Glinda Linkus, 23rd to the 27th of September 2016. And it begins, My people, there are dangers from other worlds you know not of. My people are unaware of dangers that lurk in the darkness around them, and these dangers are coming to the earth. Find your refuge in me, children, for there is no power on earth, not of me, that can defeat these powers that are coming. Only those found in me will survive. I have anointed you. I have placed in each of my servants an anointing of old. Look for what I have given you, and you will find it. 
Are you anointed as an Abraham, a Joseph, a Deborah, Elijah? My anointing reveals part of what I have called each of you to do. I desire you would be a people of honor and integrity. I desire you would show forth my ways in all you do. Do things as I would do them. I desire that when people would hear your name, they would think honorable. Few of my people truly walk in integrity in these days, in this day, and this grieves my heart greatly. Be not as the Pharisees, as whitewashed tombs, clean on the outside and dead on the inside. Be as Joseph was, as Daniel, having excellent spirits and walking in integrity, no matter the circumstances. O oh, my people, I desire you would examine your hearts and your lives and live by a much higher standard than you do now. I desire you would avoid even the appearance of evil. How can I bless you if you do not honor me? Supporting scriptures, Joshua 24, verse 14 to 15, Proverbs 2, verse 10 through 21, Matthew 23, verse 27 through 28, Daniel 6, verse 3, Genesis 20, uh, 39, verse 2 through 4, Isaiah 10, verse 27, Romans 1, verse 11, and many, many more supporting scriptures. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a brother by the name of Swift Passage, 23rd to the 26th of September, 2016. And it begins, My son, the trials and testings of many will abolish. Tell my people all those causing strife and discord will be left to suffer my father's wrath. My son, this is it. The time has come. Many need to repent of their wrongdoings and apologize to others now. This is a stern warning to all. Stop this immediately and forgive and forget. The enemy is dividing my children and many are falling for the schemes. This saddens me. This channel is my channel and many will be held accountable for their actions. Stop, I mean stop this immediately. My anger is raging and those of you who do not repent of your wrongdoings will suffer harshly. This is your final warning. I'm done with the wicked of this world and my, father's go and my father is going to send me. I'm mortified. This is... Utter nonsense, and I'm very angered and displeased. Warning, this is this is it, to stop the wickedness toward others and repent. Tell my people, many are waiting with great anticipation of my appearing. Tell my people, the great gathering is at hand. Tell them that knowing in the Spirit is what my Holy Spirit does to prepare my people for that glorious day. My son, remember when I gave you the message about the ships on the waters? Tell them this event, the wall of water that many of my true watchmen have prophesied is at the door. Tell at the door, this event would be triggered by an asteroid hit and catch many off guard. Tell my people, do not fear what is going to take place. I'm coming for you when these events happen. Tell my people, this is it. Prophecies will happen as my father sees fit. Supporting scriptures, Matthew 5 verse 22, Matthew 7. The next series of prophetic messages comes from Brother Dan and Sister Barbara, received the 26th of September 2016, and it begins, A storm is brewing. Many mighty men will perish because of lack of knowledge. When I called them, they turned away and they followed after their own lust. They will try to run and hide from me, but they will not be able to hide. Pray now that you are worthy to withstand the storm's great fury and find protection under my wing. Quiet yourselves now. Listen, as I speak to the wind, as I speak to the waves, as I speak to the trees, my instructions are carried over the earth from nation to nation. A still, small voice to be heard by my children only. The, the instructions to live and to find a place of peace within and comfort for what their eyes shall see. Hearken, you have been called from the beginning to speak of the end. Evil has tried to slay the lion of truth. Your footsteps have been marked to speak this truth. I have surrounded thee with my angels, for no harm shall come to my messenger. You have been warned that this would be. Your life is not your own. You serve my purpose. You have been chosen to speak of my will. Another shall not follow. Time has measured men's actions and found most wanting. Satan curses you, for he has been unable to stop you. You bear witness to my glory. 
the time of darkness is upon thee. You shall not be broken, for I shall fortify thee for the battle ahead. The pride of nations shall be humbled. Let those who hear the truth speak the truth. The halls of justice awaits my final judgment. Who will be found worthy in my eyes? The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Evelyn, received the 26th of September, 2016. And it begins, My children, do not be discouraged by the works of the wicked. They think I do not see their wickedness. I see. They think they can outwit the one who created them. They mistake my mercy for weakness. They believe many lies taught by demons. They laugh and sneer at my holy things. They hold no value for life. They hold no value for truth and righteousness. They will eat the fruit of their wickedness. All will see their guilt and shame. They will see the mighty hand of their creator. Their evil days will not go unpunished. Their evil plots will come to nothing in the end. So do not be discouraged. The one whom you serve is in full control. And the appointed time they will meet with my mighty hand. There will be no escape for those who love injustice. My terrible hand will be against them. Where will they hide? They will not escape my fury. My kingdom comes. I will rule with an iron rod. Those who love justice and righteousness will rule with me. Take the light in my ways. Stand firm. Be transformed. My mighty, my mighty army rises. Who can stand against it? My kingdom comes. My will shall be done. Shine as lights in this world. Hold your ground in advance. I am with you. The next series of prophetic messages was received by the sister by name of Wendy. And it begins. This message is from the great I am, ruler over all peoples, nations, tongues, and I am sovereign. I am merciful and I am compassionate. I am sending my scribes to compose this critical message. I am serving you a reminder, Barack Hussein Obama. I am has given you your boundaries. You shall not step a toe past them. You know who I am. I have complete and utter control over your father, the devil, and I have complete and utter control over you. Barack, do you think you can honestly contest with me? The one who created this very universe in and out of time existing? Your fate, which is eternal, is set to my seal, my word, which is my son, Yeshua, who loves you, Barak, for you are God's very creation. But you are a Satan, the father of lies, and a murderer. You know you will not be able to do as you please with my children. Let father of all things, beings, demons, entities, all things great, all things small, creator of the evil, and the good. I shall remind you that I, God eternal, will thwart some of your underhanded and vicious plans towards those who belong to my son Yeshua. My saints will cling to my son no matter what you may do to them. My son defeated your lying, putrid father and all the army with him. Do not forget this. God, living and breathing, giver of life, more abundantly could take your life forever. You are aware of this. Before your appointed time in my lake of fire. You won't have very long to be unleashed, and I will keep you on a very short time constraint. For my word says I will shorten the days for the sake of my elect. You shall break the backs of your const constituents. Yes, you shall, for you are my fiery judgment against a world who has forgotten who I am. But you and your father Satan hath not forgotten, and you fear my name, Yehovah Yahweh. You shall not enjoy this time, Barak, for you will feel my great displeasure and judgment upon you. Your time un of, of unraveling has begun. It is allowed, for my wrath will not be quenched until all is fulfilled. Remember, Barak, my son Yeshua, for you cower at his very name. The great I Am has given you your boundaries. I am has spoken to you, son of perdition, the lawless one written of in my word to wear out the saints for just a little time. You have been warned. Yes, sure. This concludes the portion of our prophetic messages that has transcripts. For those without uh, transcripts, we have Brother Ryan Lestrange. The title of his message 
Monday Word, Open and Close Doors, Seasons and Assignments. Then we have Sister Barb titled, You Never Introduce Us. Then we have Sister Claire with uh, titles of her message, Who May Dwell, Examine Your Hearts to Discover Sins. I Need More Prayers, Sanctify Your Sorrows. And The Power of Communion, Well Received. Uh, then we have Sister Wendy with a message from Father God Yahweh, I Do Not Bless Unrepentant Sin. And for the end time news, we have Jason A. titled, The World in 2017, Prophetic Events Are Happening Worldwide. And John Baptist, the title of his end time radio show, Solving the Riddle of Ezekiel's Will with Frank Carlisi. And we have the Angel of Apocalypse, Latest Events, September 2016, Part 214. And Brother Bob Barber, title of his message, Battle of Shepherds at the Rapture. And then we have the Salvation Study. First is the Watchman Baptism Corner, Eight Pillars to Salvation, where it is not too late to board the Ark. Intercessory Prayer Strategies for those who are in need of strategic prayer and Spiritual Warfare Training 101. Thank you all for listening. May God continue to bless you.